In My Shoes, Art and the Self since the 1990s is an Arts Council collection tiring exhibition. It investigates how artists have used themselves in their work since the 1990s and we'll be touring the show across the UK into 2019 to a further four venues. Self-portraiture has provided a huge source of inspiration to artists over centuries, but in recent years, artists have reinvigorated the genre. The starting point for In My Shoes is the young British art of the 1990s. A number of artists, including Tracy Emin, Sarah Lucas and Gavin Turk, received international attention for art that really pushed themselves into the limelight and explored life and art in a humorous way, but with serious content. Their work can be seen throughout this exhibition and the starting point for the show was to think about the importance of their work and how it has inspired a younger generation of artists. So we decided to structure the exhibition around four key themes. The first theme in the exhibition is called Physical Evidence and it looks at the way in which artists have looked to the human body to explore enduring issues of mortality, transience and the physicality of the body. There is a work in the exhibition called I Need an Axe to Break the Ice by Mark Quinn and the work features a latex cast of the artist's head which he's positioned within a glass vessel and blown up almost to the point that it explodes. It's a violent process and the artist is really pushing his body to the limits. It's also a fragment of the body and many of the works in this section look at body fragments. There's a sense of violence and threat, but also a close-up focus on parts of the body using a range of materials. A significant number of the artists in this exhibition have looked at role-playing, putting themselves in the frame. The Self as Other section looks at the wide range of ways in which artists have done this. A number of artists have explored the complexities and nature of family relationships. Stuart Holmes' work, Becoming Mother, does exactly this. The work was made in collaboration with Chris Dawley Brown and the artist looked back to his mother's modelling career of the 1960s. He imitates the poses that she took during a fashion shoot and in gelling together his image with those of his late mother, he creates really beautiful, unified, joint portraits. The past and present section looks at the ways in which artists have used historical or biographical structures. Some artists have looked to diaries, others have looked to classical art or historical art forms to put themselves in a historical position. Tracy Emin made the work The Simple Truth in 1995. It's her first blanket piece. At the time, Tracy Emin was really trying to establish herself as an artist in the United States. And she made this work literally as a bedspread for her hotel room. But in stitching her name into the blanket, she's literally making her name. It's a very assertive phrase, Tracy Emin, here to stay. A number of artists in this exhibition have looked to their daily lives, their daily routines and their surroundings to make intriguing works. This section we've given the title The Artist's World. Artists such as Gillian Waring and Sarah Lucas are key protagonists in working in this way and their work has a certain directness and authenticity through using themselves in their own surroundings. A really important work in this exhibition is by the artist Bedware Williams. It's called Walk a Mile in My Shoes from 2006. This installation takes the structure of a shoe shop. Each pair of shoes is a size 13, the same size that the artist uses. Each pair of shoes tells a story. You're able to look at the shoes and read when the artist may have worn these shoes. It creates a kind of history of the artist. In its original manifestation, visitors were welcome to wear a pair of shoes around the gallery space, literally experiencing the world from the artist's point of view. Ideas of self-portraiture not only underpin works of art, but also can be seen all around us today. 
In making the In My Shoes exhibition, we hope that visitors will have a chance to think of a range of ways in which artists have represented themselves and to reflect on their own lives, how they leave a mark and how they represent themselves in their daily lives. There's a range of interpretation materials to encourage people to think more about these themes and to leave a mark.